Hi, my name is Josh Hall and I'm going to show you how to do your own barn door kit on a work light like this. This is really going to up the production value of your films and I'm going to show you how to do uh, barn doors that will close all the way on your work light and that will also be done with less material than other videos that you'll see on YouTube. Um, now the other videos are really good. Um, if you haven't checked out Mark Epsilon, um, he does great tutorials on these kind of things. I'd recommend checking uh, his videos out. Um, uh, what we're going to do in this video though is um, we're gonna, I'm just going to show you a very uh, concise and quick way to, to do these. It's really going to um, help light up your subjects and do all those fun light things that you see um, everyone doing, the professionals and you're going to do it for a lot less money and uh, you're also going to have a, a professional looking light. Um, so what you're going to need for this build is you're going to need these. Um, I picked these up at Lowe's. Uh, what these are, these are one uh, half inch self-close overlay hinges. Um, these are fantastic little guys and these are going to put the tension on your barn doors. Um, those come in a two pack for about three bucks. Um, we're also going to have these uh, screws. You're going to need two eight packs of these um, nuts and bolts right here, and these are eight 32 by 3 eighths. Um, you're going to need uh, a drill. You're going to need, of course, your light that you can get at Walmart for around ten, twelve dollars. Um, you're going to need some cutting shears. Um, these are fantastic. Um, pick these up at Home Depot lifetime warranty and then you're going to need your big sheet of metal right here um, and uh, you can get aluminum like this uh, I got this at Lowe's it'll do probably two or three lights of this sort and uh, it's probably about nine bucks so you're going to do this very cheap um, but it's going to look good and it's going to be uh, fantastic for your films and um, I'm excited hope you're excited so let's get to it these are the dimensions for the barn doors for my version of your work light with the barn doors. So as you're going to see here, um, along this edge here for the side barn door, it's going to be four and a half inches this way. Now up here, it's going to be two inches this way. And then the total length of this barn door is going to be five and a half inches. Uh, looking at this barn door here, which are going to be your top and bottom barn doors, you're looking at six and a half inches along this bottom. Um, edge and you're looking at eight inches along this top edge and one and a half inches for your little uh, boxed off edges here and then the entire thing is going to be five and a half inches in length. Um, the reason I'm explaining that is because I know that these numbers in my little diagram system here can be a little confusing so there it is laid out for you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our metal sheet here and we're going to just cut it, cut it with our metal uh, metal cutters here. You're likely going to want to sand down the edges. That's so that nobody slices their finger open on the edge, um, which, you know, would not be a good thing on a film set. So now we're going to be working with the work light. Um, you're going to want to pop this piece of glass out right here because you don't want that to break. Uh, you really want to keep that piece of glass there. Um, now for this part, this is where it gets a little tricky and this is where you need to take some time um, to make sure that you're going to do this right. If you come in. Alright, so uh, right here. Um, now what's going to happen is if you put this on right here, you're going to notice that it's in an angle where that barn door is going to come down right here and it's going to hit your glass and it's going to break it. It's just going to go straight through here when your barn door closes because of the angle that this is at right here. So this is the part that you have to be very careful about and what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to um, make your holes back here um, lower and so you don't want that to actually close all the way you're going to want it about there. Um, and I know that looks kind of awkward but that's so that this line right here coming off of um, the edge of this thing, uh, the edge of your, your rim right here on the glass part is not going to go down into your glass. It's going to keep it parallel with the glass. 
So just be very conscious of that when you go ahead and make your marks um, back here for the holes and screw this into um, to the to the metal plate here. So just once again, you're going to want it down like this. And once you get all your points marked, um, as I've done here on all four sides, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your drill and you're just going to drill out those points. Um, the drill bit that I'm using here is um, an 11 64th bit and uh, I'm just going to just going to drill into uh, all these points here. So the next step in our process here is going to be to um, attach your hinges right back here, just as I've done. Um, and then you are going to have to mark here on the face plate where you're going to put your screws in. So for instance, right there and right there. Um, usually you're going to want to make it flush right here with the end of your barn door. There's a few things that I wanted to note before I continue here with the tutorial. Um, the first thing is that, uh, as you've noticed, um, I have all of the hinges on here, and you're going to notice that this hinge is um, placed with the wider end um, where we're going to connect the barn door to, and this one has the smaller edge where we connect the barn door to. And uh, the reason for that is because you've got this head up here where you're going to be bolting um, your, your lid closed here uh, and that causes a real big problem when you're looking at this wider edge so I use the smaller edge there. Um, it's no problem but a word to the wise you're going to want to go down as far as you can without obstructing this barn door um, because you've got this this uh, this curve here, this bend in the metal and it's going to be really hard for you to get your nut um, in there so that you can bolt it down if you're not far enough back uh, the other thing quickly that I wanted to mention is when you're looking at the side door here, I put the bolts in going inwards toward the lamp. Uh, now this is important when you're closing your barn doors. Um, whereas on this one, I've put the barn door, um, I put the, the, the bottom barn door uh, bolts going up away from your lamp. Um, that's important because you don't want, uh, in the closing barn door system, which is the arrangement that I've made here, you, you don't want these bolts obstructing uh, the closing of your barn doors. And so you've got a smooth uh, part here and a smooth part here. And so when you close your barn doors, they're going to go right flat on top of each other, um, which is really going to be fantastic for uh, transporting these things and, and carrying them around wherever you have to go. The other thing uh, that I should mention is on this uh, part of the barn door here, I've put it right up to the edge right here of this uh, back metal part um, on your hinge. Um, and that's, that's really probably the best place for it. Uh, whereas on this one, you'll notice that I didn't put it flush with the edge of the barn door. I actually let it sag down just a little bit lower than, um, than the edge of this part of the barn door. And that's, gonna, that's just going to keep um, this part here when you're closing it uh, from allowing it to shut really forcefully because you've got that little piece of metal right there keeping this barn door from closing all the way. These are just little things that you can really basically eyeball. I don't have any diagrams for this, but once again, you're going to want to make sure that this side barn door does not close all the way. You'll notice that it's sticking up a little bit. This clamp doesn't go all the way back. And then when you're looking at this one here, um, it's going to close, but not all the way. Once again, um, you'll see that it's not closing flush. There's a little bit of space there. That's because this uh, barn door is pushed back a little bit, and it keeps it from, from closing all of the, uh, all the way. So here's kind of um, one of the final stages here of your own light setup. Uh, so what we've done here is uh, put the, the barn doors on. Um, once again, screws going out on your top and bottom ones, screws going in on your side on your side uh, barn doors there. Um, so now what you've got are these 
these uh, beautiful lights that you can use for whatever you'd like. <clears throat> and there's one final step, and that is painting them black. And I'll go ahead and do that and show you the final product. Um, these really are beautiful though because you can actually completely fold them up. Um, this, this is really, really going to help you when you're going on shoots and you just need to you just need to grab your light um, and take it away all right guys well this is it this is what all of your time and effort and a little bit of money's gone into uh, this light costs around twenty to thirty dollars uh, depending on where you get your materials and um, and how you build it uh, the thing that I want to mention about this particular light that I just made um, is that I have not included putting the glass back in um, for me this is this is just fine. Um, it's the way I put the screws in. Um, you can do yours a little bit differently by placing them um, so that they don't interfere with your glass. But for me, this is fine, especially because they close up all the way. So during transit, you don't have any problems like that. Um, anyway, uh, so this is how I've decided to to build this one. Um, you can obviously kind of tweak yours however you'd like. Uh, but this is really a fantastic piece. You can carry it with it. You can carry it with you wherever you go, and uh, you've got a, a 500 watt light that looks professional, and that will uh, do everything that you need it to do. Um, so once again, here it is. Your closable barn door 500 watt light that can fold up like this. Uh, I'm going to give you one more view of it with the lights on so you can take a look at it. Let me turn this guy on. It's going to be uh, very bright for you there. Uh, but what you'll see here is that you're really able to control this light now with your barn doors on there which is uh, really a fantastic thing. And of course, as with any production lights, you can buy the foil um, that you can put up at the top um, around this area where a little bit of light seeps through. Um, that's fairly inexpensive. That's something you're, you're going to do uh, with any light. Uh, but this is fantastic. You can use it and point any direction that you'd like. Um, really going to enhance the quality of, of your films. So there you have it. That's how to build your closable barn door uh, 500 watt work light. And if you have any questions, feel free to post. Um, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be a lot more tutorial videos where this one came from. And I uh, look forward to uh, having you come back and visit again. Thanks.